Well, over the last couple of days, we've gotten quite a few interesting updates about What If. Let's break it down. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we have a big update on Marvel's What If. Well, while we've all been really, really busy doing this emo dance, there's been lots of tidbits about the upcoming Marvel animated series, What If. Now, we got a trailer for this a couple of months back, but now we've got some pretty interesting information on what this show might actually be all about. Now, before we break all this down, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, don't forget about the big giveaway. We're going to give away this PlayStation 5 at 25,000 subscribers. All you have to do to get in on the giveaway is be a subscriber and leave some sort of comment. Well, over the last three or four days, we've gotten quite a few new updates about Marvel's animated series, What If, that's coming to Disney Plus this summer. So, I thought it would be a great time to take a couple of minutes to break down all this new What If information and maybe figure out what's going to go on with the series. So, the first thing we got was a leaked poster. Let's check it out. Now, there's a lot to take in here, but most of this we've seen already. You see Peggy Carter as Captain Britain, T'Challa Star-Lord, Black Widow, Eric Killmonger, Gamora, Thor, Doctor Strange, and Uatu the Watcher. But the interesting thing about the poster is the title, Guardians of the Multiverse? Now, that makes you start thinking, and they really do look like some sort of assembled team. But obviously, Guardians of the Multiverse is not an official Marvel comic title, and it might just be promotional. We'll have to wait and see on that. Now, what came next added more weight to this poster. After the poster was released, Peggy Carter herself, Haley Atwell, dropped a post on Instagram. Now, it was the trailer we had all seen before for What If, but her caption is what made it interesting. She said, Coming summer 2021, Disney Plus, an alternate narrative in a parallel universe, a position of power that Peggy Carter is fully equipped for. I know my value. Now, to me, this sounds like we're getting something a little bit different than what we were expecting. This quote really seems to indicate that all of these characters actually inhabit the same alternate Earth and not multiple Earths. This calls into question a lot of the scenes that we've been seeing, with everything from T'Challa becoming Star-Lord to the Winter Soldier battling that zombie Captain America. Now, if you remember right, the series was shared during last year's Disney Investors Day meeting, and the quote they had seems to feed this rumor. It was, what if? Flips the script on the MCU, reimagining famous events from the films in unexpected ways. This to me indicates they really are going to tell a parallel narrative, and a lot of this starts to make sense. I mean, for example, we've all talked about the T'Challa version of Star-Lord, but this poster now having Eric Killmonger as one of the heroes makes sense. Instead of T'Challa growing up to become the Black Panther, in this alternate world does Eric Killmonger? These are things that make you say, hmm. Now finally today, we also got a couple of more looks at some promotional art. Now these were leaked on the Twitter and are really not great pictures, but I thought they should be included in this video because there's really not another great place to put them. Now first we have this look at Uatu, which is just a standard white on black print. The second one is a zombie Captain America, which we've all seen before, but I'm not gonna lie, this is a t-shirt I might actually buy. And then the third one is something we've never heard before. Now in that Guardians of the Multiverse, you may have noticed a new version of Thor, and in this shot, he gets a new name. He's Party Thor, <laughs> whatever that means. Now I have to say, I'm a big fan of the What If comics, and I was sort of hoping for an anthology series of one-off tales. It really does sound like Marvel is planning on telling a cohesive narrative in one world, maybe retelling all of those events in the original Infinity Stone saga, just tracing our way through them along a different path with different characters. Obviously, if we get any more details about What If, or maybe even a new trailer, we're going to bring it to you right away. But I gotta know what you guys think. How do you feel about what if being a contained story in one alternate universe? And how do you feel about many of these classic superhero roles being given to new characters and seeing where it takes us? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you ain't getting any updates. Peace.